friends. It's good to see you here today. We are celebrating this weekend, the 4th of July. It's a celebration of the independence of our country. I hope you guys had an amazing 4th. It was Saturday and it's Sunday, but it's a fun weekend and it's fun to celebrate and remember all the freedoms that we have with our family and our friends. I hope you guys had a great one. Yeah? Yes, I know, there, there were no fireworks. We didn't get to go see fireworks, but we had a fun picnic, right? We did, we had a fun picnic in our backyard. It was super fun. <laughs> so so um, today, friends, we have a story. I have my Bible right here. It's out of the book of Esther, and the story is about a girl named Esther. It's The book is actually named after her. And it is a story about a girl who did something very brave, and she was the helper of God. She became God's helper because she was brave, and she listened and did what God asked her to do in a time that was pretty scary. She wasn't sure um, what was going on, but she obeyed and listened to God's voice, and she was very, very brave. And she did something that not a lot of people get to do. And so let's listen a little bit about Esther. She was a young girl, the Bible tells us, and she was sent to the king's palace. The king wanted a new queen. I know, right? Just kind of, kind of went around and just said, hey, I want a new queen. So the girls, they, they brought a bunch of girls over for him to see, hey, which queen would I like? That sounds very, very weird. Yes, it is extremely weird different from what we how we work today. But, you know, God still had a plan for Esther. Even though it was a little strange and it was uncomfortable, God had a plan and she still listened and she did what God asked her to do. Yes, even though it was a little strange, that is exactly right. She went in and she was there and, you know, she found favor in the eyes of the king. She was beautiful on the outside, the Bible tells us, but more importantly, she was beautiful on the inside. And she was special. She had a job to do for God, and she went and did it. Oh, what was that job? Oh, okay, well, let's, let me tell you. So she went and ended up saving the nation once again, the Israelis, she ended up saving the children of Israel. They need that, you know, there was a lot of bad guys back then that really didn't want God's people to be around. And so there was a bad guy that had made a decree that he said, I don't want any of these people here. And she was able to intervene. That means step in as the queen, because she was made queen. And she was able to tell the king, her husband, hey, don't do that. And he listened. Even though he wasn't a godly king, he listened to his wife, who ended up being Queen Esther. So she ended up, because she obeyed, even though the situation was strange, she ended up being to be the one that was God's amazing helper. And she was able to step in and she used her own freedom, because she had a lot of freedom as the queen. She had a lot of say so. And she didn't use it to make herself look good, she used it to help love and save others. That's right. Yeah, that's part of our Bible scripture today. Our memory verse is in Galatians, friends. And I'm going to turn my Bible over to Galatians. And it's in Galatians 5.13. Yeah, it's over there. And it said, you know, we were given liberties, freedoms, not to serve ourselves, but to serve others and love others. That's why we have freedom. Even here in the United States, we have so many freedoms and they're not so that we can just kind of make ourselves look good and so we can have fun just doing what we want. God gives us freedom so that we can help and serve others who are less fortunate or who may not have the freedoms that we have. So you do? Oh. Okay, Travis has something in his heart. Should we take it out right now? Okay, we should. Okay, he wants us to take out what's in his heart. Oh, oh it's 
jingly. It's oh, he's had jingly things, and I think it was a key you had jingly before, but this isn't a key. No, nope. okay. Oh, oh no, that's interesting. If you could see that, he's got a heart and a star. What is that for? A heart. Oh, it's to help him remember the star. Esther's name means star, and the heart is for loving others. <laughs> and it, he's right, it just so happens to be two of the colors of our country's flag, red and blue. Look, I even have, I have one on my shirt, red, white, and blue. But Esther's name meant star, and the heart was she loved God with all of her heart. That was one of her other memory verses. Yep. And she served others. She used, Esther used her freedom to love and serve others. She didn't use it just for her own good. And that's, friends, kind of what we are supposed to do, is we're supposed to think about others and what we could do for them and how we can help them and use our freedoms to serve others. Oh, <laughs> Travis wants me to tell you about something on your coloring sheet that looks really fun. He, he's very excited to do it. Um, on the back of your coloring sheet, let me grab it real quick. Sorry, Travis, I just kind of tipped you over. Yes, I. sorry about that. On the back of your coloring sheet today, there is, or on the front, there's actually a little thing. Do you, do you want me to just read that? Okay. And it says, set out your choice of ingredients for banana splits. Oh, <laughs> yes, you do. He likes banana splits. Have each family member make a special banana split for someone else. No, it wasn't for you to make one for you. No, it was for you to make one for someone else. Yeah, <laughs> I think a little confused. He's supposed to use what he can do to help and give and share and show someone else that they're special. So that's why that's there. Talk about how much, how you made the treat special and that God made each of us special. But guess what? you still get a banana split. Yes, it doesn't say you don't get one. It just says somebody else makes it special for you. And that's kind of fun. It's kind of fun to take a few minutes and think about what someone else might like. You may have to ask somebody. If you don't know, you may have to ask your mom or dad, do you like bananas on your bananas? I know it's called a banana split, but Somebody may not want bananas on their banana split. Do you know what I like on my banana split? <laughs> no, I don't like salmon. You do? I don't know if salmon toppings anyone. I like extra cherries. Yes, I do. I like extra cherries. Um, I don't know if we'll find any salmon toppings, but we'll look. How's that? Okay, we'll look for salmon toppings. But friends, that would be kind of fun to make some banana splits and to see if you can maybe even guess what some of your family's favorite toppings are. We love to make banana splits at our house um, and just be able to put on all the toppings that we want. It's a fun way to celebrate not only the 4th of July, but to celebrate each person's uh, individual, who they are, who God made them to be, because God made everybody special. And you guys can have fun finding out what their special ingredients are they like on their banana splits. I would love to see pictures of some family banana split making. That would be kind of fun, wouldn't it? I hope you have an amazing week and have a great Sunday. And happy 4th of July, everyone. Love you guys. Bye.